Perhaps you're curious as to how individuals in the United States Army get their call signs to utilize over the radio. If so, stick around because that's what I'm going to be explaining in this video. What's up friends? Welcome to an all new video. In this one, we're talking about call signs and specifically how individuals possibly get the call sign that they're utilizing to communicate over the radio. So when they are calling someone, what it is that they're calling them by and what they're being called by and all that kind of stuff. Commonly, people think that they always just have these cool call signs like Maverick and Goose and all that kind of stuff. And sure, sometimes you can have that, but that's usually more specific as to when units are kind of using their own internal net and not really broadcasting out to other people, then sometimes, yeah, they have some kind of cool type of, you know, call sign that they go by. But commonly as a formal, more appropriate type of call sign, the Army has an actual format to decide what that individual's call sign is going to be based on kind of their position. So to kind of understand those call signs, you first need to understand that typically in the United States Army, you have, of course, you know, different companies, right? Under the brigades and battalions and all that kind of stuff. And sometimes in these, you know, units, you have, let's say like Alpha Company or Alpha Troop or Alpha Battery or whatever. And usually they have like a name that that troop or that company or whatever is named after. And it usually it also matches that first letter. So let's say if it is, you know, Alpha Company, then they might have a name that kind of goes along with that, like maybe Apache. So they are called Apache Company. So in the example that we're gonna use, we're gonna say that we're in Charlie Company, so we are Chaos Company. Now along with that, the company commander and the first sergeant and other positions as well are gonna have like this number that's associated with them that kind of gets associated with that call sign. So for that position of the company commander, they are associated with the number six, and for the position of that first sergeant, they are associated with the number seven. So then with the example of us being Charlie Company, Chaos Company, the commander would be Chaos 6 and the first sergeant would be Chaos 7. And that's how they would end up with their call signs. So you can see how it might vary between like Bravo Troop or Bravo Company and several other companies based on whatever their company name is. I have also seen it sometimes where they don't want to get all high speed have the name and they're just simply maybe, you know, Charlie 6, or Charlie 7 or whatever. Now there are other numbers that are associated with these, such as five is the executive officer, the XO, which is also like the, the second in charge from the commander. Now this could be at like a company level, battalion level, division level, whatever. But in this example of the company of chaos company, then chaos five would be the XO for chaos company. Now, when we're looking at it from a platoon level, then it works fairly similar, but we're going to add a little bit more elements. Now there's a couple of different ways that it could be incorporated either with colors or with numbers. So in the example of using colors, typically you're gonna have first platoon is red. They'll use white for second platoon, maybe black for headquarters and several other colors that could be involved depending on how many platoons there are in this level of company or troop or whatever the situation calls for. But there are also situations where you just simply use numbers. So first platoon is simply one, second platoon is two and so on and so forth. So we're also still gonna continue using those six and sevens. But for this case, it applies for the NCO or the officer. So the six would be that platoon leader and the seven would be that platoon sergeant. Now, if those individuals are using colors and let's say it is first platoon, then Chaos Red 7 is going to be that platoon sergeant. And then of course, Chaos Red 6 would be that platoon leader for first platoon. And then in the example of using numbers instead of colors, then for that platoon sergeant, it would be Chaos 1-7. And for that platoon leader, it would be Chaos 1-6. There are also times when they'll leave off like the chaos, the, the company name part, and simply just be referred to as 1-6 or Red 6. That can be commonly done too, especially like if you're on like just the platoon net, the company net, then sometimes you just leave off the company name. Now it can drill down even further than that, down to the squad level. Now sometimes the common call sign for the squad level is going to refer to basically what squad they are. If they're first squad, they're second squad, or whatever, you're gonna kind of use that terminology, those numbers to kind of associate with the call sign. So let's go off of first squad. First squad might be in a situation of using, let's say colors, then it might be chaos red one, the one representing first squad. So that tells me that that is the person in charge of first squad, whether it be a section sergeant or a squad leader. And then you would continue that for, you know, chaos red two, chaos red three, depending on how many squads there are for that platoon. And then if you're using numbers, then chaos one, one, chaos one, two, whatever for their squad. Now I've actually had a platoon where we didn't necessarily go off of the squad number, but the class of supplies that we were using. Now let's say in the example of my last call sign before I got out of the army. Now I was in 410 Cav, specifically in Dragoon Troop. I was actually the section sergeant for the fourth squad, but that squad was in charge of ammunition, which is class five. 
ammunition, supplies, and fuel have different classes. I won't get into that in this video, but class five is ammunition. That's what you need to know for this specific call sign that I'm about to tell you about. So because I was in charge of class five, I was Dragoon 2-5 because we were in the second platoon, so I was Dragoon 2-5. Now also you might find that a call sign might also match the bumper number of a vehicle. If you're not familiar with bumper numbers, basically in the Army they label the vehicles with a bumper number. It's just a number that is spray painted on the front and back of that vehicle to be able to identify that number for that vehicle or that vehicle itself. So you might commonly see, let's say, the commander for Chaos Company. Their bumper number on that vehicle is going to be Charlie 6 for Chaos 6. And then the platoon sergeant for first platoon in Charlie Company might be something like Charlie 1-7. Now you'll then possibly have several other vehicles in that unit, maybe let's say from 1-0 to 1-9, but if you have a lot of vehicles, then it might be 1-0-0 or 1-1-0 or something like that, and so on and so forth, but usually starting off with one for first platoon, second platoon's bumper numbers start off with a two, and so on and so forth. And for those situations, if there is a radio inside that vehicle, which most commonly there is, and the person is utilizing that radio, then a lot of times their bumper number ends up being their call sign. So if an individual is the truck commander, the vehicle commander, whatever, for the specific vehicle of Charlie 1-3 for that specific vehicle, then that's their call sign, Charlie 1-3. Now bear with me because it can even drill down even more. Now let's say for the vehicle for the platoon sergeant of 1st platoon, they have a gunner. Now because that platoon sergeant's call sign is Chaos Red 7 or Chaos 1-7, the gunner is just simply going to add a G or a Golf at the very end. So they would be possibly Chaos 1-7 Golf or Chaos Red 7 Golf. You can also do that with Driver 2 and add a Delta on the end and you know several other kind of maybe variations. Now of course, like I said, these can vary. You could possibly still have situations where people have these high speed call signs, Maverick, Goose, Chaos, whatever, right? But typically the Army likes to stick to this standardized one, especially since it kind of makes it standardized over the net. So when you were hearing someone from another unit calling up and saying that they are, you know, Apache 6, then you know that that is probably a commander. And that just kind of really helps out to identify the role of that individual on the other end. Because if someone's just calling up that they're Maverick, you have no idea if this is a private or if this is a Sergeant Major. But if they are calling up with a six, like, you know, Apache or uh, Comanche type of thing and Comanche six, then you know this is possibly an officer most likely. So if I have any viewers out there that are currently in the army or even some veterans, I would love to hear, were you important enough to have a, a call sign maybe in this format of red something or, you know, a number sequence, whatever it might've been, or did you have some kind of really cool, just, you know, Maverick Goose type of call sign? And then for those of you that are not in the Army, I'd love to hear your made-up call sign. Just go ahead and drop those down in the comments. We'll, we'll have some fun with this, I assume. So, all right, hopefully you enjoyed that kind of you know deep explanation as far as the format for call signs. If you enjoyed it, throw a like on the video. But the fun doesn't need to stop with this one. Check out some of these recommended videos right over there. You can also check out the links down in the description for social media, Patreon, and more. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Christopher Chaos, and I'll see you next time. See ya.